I'm Oak Myers with Cranberry Wilderness Outfitters, and we're over here at uh, Summersville Dam doing a trout stalking by helicopter that's went on for the past several years. And this is my friend Kevin Yoakum, and he can tell you more about himself and how this program got started and what he does. Well, my title is District Fisheries Biologist, and uh, we work out in the French Creek office. This happens to be one of the counties that's under our, uh, our jurisdiction here. And today we are stocking about 2,000 pounds of trout in the Gully River tailwaters. And uh, the real winners here are going to be the anglers of West Virginia. It's an exciting venture. It's an opportunity for us to create a remote trout fishing experience, something that our anglers have told us they want. They want to get a place where they don't have to fight elbow to elbow with other anglers. And they want that experience where they're not afraid to walk a mile or two uh, to get it. And that's what we're trying to do here today. And those were all, pretty much all quality fish, aren't they? Sure, sure look like they it. Exactly. Is. Exactly. Any, you know, two or three pound fish, you know, 15, 16 inch fish. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah that's the kind of, you know, fishing opportunities we, we want to create. For oh, a guy yeah. who's willing to walk down in a canyon, right. really craves that remote fishing uh, experience, is not right. afraid to walk a little bit to get down and, right. and do that kind of thing. Yeah. We want to reward that. Yeah, it's, you don't want to deter people from going down in there, but it's, it's, it's not for a timid, week of heart kind of person because it is rugged. You've got to know your limitations. Exactly. Before. It is a rugged canyon to deal with. Well, you know, every year that, that's kind of the highlight of helping out with the stock and you know, getting to ride that helicopter. They actually take the doors off there and you're looking down at about a thousand foot of nothing but air. But uh, you know the primary objective here is to get those fish spread out throughout the five miles of the Right, canyon. right. And uh, you know, that's the only way we can do that in this situation is to get a helicopter in there. Right. And, uh, what a uh, what an event, you know. That's no the best way to say it. The ride is such an exhilarating part of that, and the real winners here are the fishermen of West Virginia. You really get a remote fishing opportunity. Right. One of the best in the state. You got, yes. Uh, crystal clear water coming down the uh, Gully River. Cold releases coming out of Summersville Dam help right. those trout survive year round. Right. And the fish that we're putting here today will certainly survive next year and for several years on, creating a fabulous fishery. Exactly. I know I fished down there before, and I, I know we've caught several fish that were 20 plus, and you know those are holdovers. That's so exactly. the water has to be has to have a good pH and, and good temperature. Temperature is really the, the regulating thing here in West Virginia. We have um, water's either make or break by water temperature. Now, that's just the bottom line. Right. Particularly when we're dealing with trout. In this situation, not only can they survive, but they can actually do very well. Exactly. They put on some growth down there. Right. Uh, year in, year out. And the fish, these fish that we're stocking today, when you catch those fish next year, you're going to have a wonderful experience. They're yes. Fight hard. Exactly. Be colorful, fins full, full. Uh, the kind of trout you really like. Oh, exactly. Now let me ask you this, if you know, the the optimum weighting for this, because a lot of people, I mean that's big water. It's big water. It's big water and you've got to be super careful if you're going to weight it and fish it. Is there, a, is there a certain CFS that that water comes out at that is ideal for a weighed fisherman? Sure. I, yeah, I recommend people all the time, if the flow is between 100 and 500 CFS, that's the time to fish the canyon. Right. Okay. It's, uh, it's good fishing conditions, the weighting is pretty safe. I have fished it between 500 and 1,000, and you can fish it. Yeah. Uh, it gets a little hairier. Exactly. You have to be uh, more careful what you're doing. And really, over 1,000 CFS, you're not going to have much it. Your time right. Down. Exactly. All right. I'm Oak, and we're back. We were just over on the, at Somersville to Tailwaters. And like I said, we came down in here on the Cranberry. We're on the lower part of the put and take. You know, this is, there's no regulations. You can keep six fish. Uh, we're going to be strictly catch and release, hopefully, the catching part. And, uh, you know, the catch release is on down, and we're about 10 miles below where Mike and I fished last time on the, with the bike trip that you all saw in the last, in one of the episodes before. So we're going to go over here, and uh, the water's kind of low and super clear, but we should be able to find a few fish up on top. So let's go see if we can catch some fish. This will take me around that rock if I'm not careful. Pretty little rainbow. He 
easy, buddy. We're going to put you back. Yeah, a nice rainbow. Not a bad fish at all. Whoop. Come here, buddy. There we go. Yeah, pretty fish. There's one. There we go. All right. There's a pretty rainbow. See if we can get this one in the net. Unlike that light. Hey. <laughs> Come here, buddy. You're awful pretty. Easy does it. But that large arbor reel comes in handy when you take line in. All right. Oh, come on, buddy. All right. Pretty little fish. All right. Yep. He's going. All right. Another rainbow. There's a rainbow alley right through here. Like the rainbow grill it used to be in Richwood. <laughs> 